Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Pretty sure, pretty sure about that day of the week. I have something that I want to talk about today that I think might ruffle a few feathers, but I think that it's something that most people need to hear, myself included at times, and I encourage you to think about your reaction and Take note of the fact that generally the things that we're most resistant to are due to fear and, um, you know, fear of making a change or doing something scary. And if you are noticing resistance in what I'm about to talk about, I encourage you to think, am I resisting because I am scared of something? And if so, that is totally fine. That's a normal feeling and, and acknowledge that and sit with that and that's fine but then figure out what you need to do to move past the fear because oftentimes fear is what's keeping you stuck where you are. So what I want to talk about today that I know is going to kind of circle back to the fear thing is how long have you been saying that you need to make a change? How long have you been saying you need to lose weight? You need to get back in the gym. You need to start eating better. You need to make time for yourself. How long have you been saying those things? And I'm not asking you this to make you feel bad about however long it's been or to make you feel like a failure that you're like, oh my God, I've been saying that since my six-year-old was born and I haven't done it. That's not my intention. But what I want to talk about is the fact that there's never going to be a perfect time to lose weight, to commit to your health to reprioritize healthy eating or getting in the gym or any of those things. There's just never going to be a perfect time for it. Life is always going to be going on. Life is always going to be happening. And there's always going to be something that you could use as an excuse as to why you can't start right now. So for example, when I, I got married in October and I was pretty dedicated to my um, my workouts and my nutrition in the few months leading up to my wedding because I really wanted to look awesome in my dress and I wanted to feel good and I knew there were going to be a lot of pictures and I wanted it to be, I wanted to be feeling and looking as good as, you know, as possible. That being said, in the few months leading up to my wedding, I had a trip to Colorado, I had a trip to California for someone else's wedding, I had a bachelorette party, my husband, my fiance at the time came back from deployment, we did, you know, a lot of celebrating then. All of those events were things that I could have used as excuses as to why I couldn't be dedicated to the changes that I was trying to make. And I bet if you think closely, you can think of a million events like that. There's, I would be willing to guarantee that for most of us, not a month goes by that there isn't an important birthday or an anniversary or a graduation or a holiday or a family reunion or company or vacation. I'm not sure if I said that already, but what I'm getting at is there's never going to be a time that everything is going to go exactly according to plan. And I feel like we often have this mentality like, oh, I couldn't possibly start now because, you know, in six weeks, my brother's coming into town. So I know I'm not going to be working out as much then, or I'm going to be eating meals out then. Is that I get it. And those are definitely obstacles that we need to work on, you know, how to make them, how to make them work, but they're not an excuse to delay what you know that you need to do and what you're trying to do for your health and for your happiness. So what I want you to think about is, have you been making that kind of excuse? Have you been telling yourself that now is not the time? This isn't, you know, the timing has to be right. It's not now. And has that prevented you from making the progress that you could be making? And you see all those memes that, you know, kind of float around the internet about, a month from now you'll wish you started today or a year from now you'll wish you started today and as cliche as those things are they're really true the time is gonna go by anyway and I feel like so many of us end up looking back a week a month three months six months a year later and saying like oh I meant to I meant to start doing that what happened so I really want to challenge you guys to 
think about this and really think about how long you've been saying that you need to do whatever and why you haven't done it yet. And again, this is not to make you feel bad about that. And I hope that if you're feeling resistance, you are kind of checking that and acknowledging, okay, I'm feeling resistant to this or I'm getting defensive. And it's fine to feel those things. But then figure out why am I feeling those things? Am I feeling defensive because I know that this is true and this, this is hitting a little bit closer to home than maybe I would like? And think about what you can do today, literally today, to get started. And I know it's what, two o'clock here, so it's eight o'clock on the East Coast. I know that you know your day is winding down. You could get up right now and do 10 squats. You could drop to the floor right now and do five push-ups. You could go to the fridge and figure out what you could put together for a healthy breakfast for tomorrow. Very relevant to this week's challenge. You could, if you're watching this and you're not home, you could swing by the grocery store on your way home and pick up some foods that you know will help you get closer to your goals. What can you do today to make today the first day? Don't put it off anymore. Don't wait for the perfect time. Don't wait for all the stars to align when things calm down at work, when, you know, whatever. That is never going to happen. Even if there's a time period that you say, okay, there's no anticipated events or hurdles here. Now is, now is the perfect time. I guarantee you life will get in the way at some point. You will get bad weather. You will get a new project at work. Your car will break down. There is always going to be something that you could let deter you or hinder your progress. But that's a choice that you're making. And what I want you to do today is make the choice to start right now and to stop saying, I need to do this, I'm gonna do it. When X, Y, and Z happens, I'm gonna do it. Do it right now, start today. Let me know in the comments what I can do to help you because trust me, I know that having support, having accountability, having you know outside motivation can help sometimes, having education can help sometimes. What do you need from me that will help you make this your day one, make you, you know, tackle whatever it is that you're trying to do, get back in the gym, lose weight, eat better, gain muscle, whatever it is you're trying to do, commit to starting today, commit to saying no, I know there's never gonna be a perfect time and I'm gonna do it anyway and let me know how I can help you.